Hey, this is Trey Gunn, and we're here talking about Gig Performer. Gig Performer is a VST and uh, audio unit plug-in host. I run it on the Mac, and it's my live rig and my studio rig. I don't need any analog gear at all except for my instrument. And all you need for uh, to get all the sounds that I use is uh, Gig Performer, a couple of plug-ins, and an audio interface, and then some kind of MIDI controller. My MIDI controller setup is pretty over the top. But it I want to show this one because of something particular. There's a couple of particular things I'm doing here. First, first of all, there's the bass side. phaser on it. Uh, the bass comes in here, goes through the Mark Studio bass plug-in, gets split, dry signal, and phaser. So in the mixer I'm mixing together the phaser and the bass. The mixer comes back together through the bass volume pedal, which is controlled by my foot pedal. That's the bass side, uh, expression pedal. So the bass side is clear. Uh, the top side gets split into multiple places. Um, the main ones are three main things. It's a little tricky to see all this here, but I, I can talk you through it. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm using three different distortions, three different kinds of distortions. The, the clean guitar signal goes into this dirt machine plug-in, which is a kind of a stomp box. Uh, um, pedal, which I really love. I, they're from Pueblo, Mexico. They're great. So I'm using one dirt machine. I'm using three dirt machines, and they're all coming into the mixer in parallel, and they're panned differently. So the two first two uh, dirt machines, two different sounds, one on the left, one on the right. The third dirt machine is a, a Texas Pride, of course. Texan Pride, because I'm from Texas. That goes into the S gear, which is the main guitar sound. And that also comes in to uh, the mixer board, actually in a couple of ways. This is a complicated patch, I take it back. S gear comes in twice. It comes in on channel five and six, it comes in on channel seven and eight. The reason being, um, I'm running um, some pitch shifting on it and I'm running the pitch shifter after the mixer board. So S, if you notice here, these three channels come out outputs one and two. So the two dirt machines, hard pan and the S gear, all one and two. Then I have another version of the S gear and all you do is just drag these, these little patch cables in and then you've got another version. And this S gear goes out output three and four there's two mixers, basically. This is the first mixer, and then the second mixer, you can see that I've mixed the dirt machines and the S gear straight, straight to this mixer. And then the S gear only goes to this octave shifter, which I control. Then this comes together in the final mixer, um, and that mixer does also another set of things. It goes to the, the volume pedal, and it also goes to a phaser here and comes back. And, and you don't need a mixer to mix stuff. You can just draw to draw lines. Like this line is coming from this mixer and this line is coming from the mixer that goes through the phaser. And then this signal goes out to two different delays. One is the outer space delay and one is the fab, uh, fab filter timeless two. And this all of this stuff comes in here. So, Aside from all that complexity, let me just show how I'm controlling some of this stuff. The controller page is over here. Here's my bass volume. And here's my top volume, um, which is just here. Then I have this uh, other pedal here that's controlling uh, the pitch shifter and let's go to the pitch shifter first and I'll show you what you what you see here the pitch shifter is 
Um, it's at zero right now, and when I run it down, it goes up to a uh, tritone. So and that seems like this. <laughs> the same controller pedal doing several things it's it's um it's controlling the level back from the pitch shifter so the pitch shifter is mostly off right now and when i turn on the pitch shifter when i swing the pitch up to the tritone it also brings up the level and it also sends it to the phaser a little bit so no phaser in this uh, direct sound. When I bring in the pitch shifter, it also fades up the fa phaser. Okay, so far so good. Now there's two other controls. I have a button on my, um, my uh, foot controller that controls uh, a delay signal. So when I hit that button, uh, you can see all these uh, all these uh, knobs turn, and I'm sending input to the delays. The wet level back from the delays turns up, and the feedback turns up. And then I'm also changing the EQ on the delays. And what that lets me do is add a long tail to uh, a solo. So. So that's one of the controls, uh, which is fantastic uh, gig performer feature. Then, um, this is a complicated patch. <laughs> then I have another button on my controller that actually sends uh, to an external analog pedal that's on a loop, this pedal. Uh, I mean, this can be anything, or it can be a whole chain of pedals, but I'm just using a uh, this Digitech Freakout. It's on a loop that comes in and out of my uh, audio interface. So I can feed it out. Um, I, I can feed from the audio interface to this pedal and bring it back and I can do that anywhere in the chain here in Gig Performer. And what you see here, this probably doesn't make sense without having gotten into the guts, but basically my guitar signal um, comes dry and goes to this send volume, which is what I'm controlling with my pedal. So when I, it's, just, it's a momentary button I've set up. So whenever I push this down, the signal goes through this volume, which sends out channel nine. Channel nine is the loop, so it loops out to the, uh, to the pedal. And then channel, the pedal comes back in on channel nine uh, in the interface comes back in here. So anything, anytime I push this button here, the signal goes out here and comes back in here. And now I can bring this effect with nothing on it, just the guitar of this effect, I can bring it in uh, and, and take it anywhere I want. And you can see that I've taken it to three different places. I've taken it over into the S gear and then I've taken it over to Dirt Machine 1 and Dirt Machine 2. And so what's happening here? This is a, 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 a feedbacker, kind of like a, a, um, a Fernando sustainer. And I've got it set to a certain uh, harmonic overtone. So to, without a, to not keep explaining and explaining, here's what it sounds like. So there's the regular guitar. And then now when I kick the, 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 the button in to go out to the freak out. No, no freak out. Freak out comes in. This is all on the uh, 
this button here, right here. All I'm doing is just raising the level on the um, on this send with the freak out. So I have the one button that sends to the delay. And another button that sends to the freak out. And if I'm sitting down and using both my feet at the same time, I can do the both. 